Hello and welcome to Lincoln to Local. I'm Hannah Davis here with Bray Haven to bring you an update from the state capitol. Bray, this week legislators are really focused on finding revenue to um, fund teacher pay raises and education. Are there any measures that will affect farmers and ranchers? Yeah, I think there's uh, several of them out there that our policy encompasses and that our members need to be aware of. Um, one in particular that I want to talk to you about today is uh, the capital gains tax exemption. Um, that's Senate Bill 1086. Um, the Farm Bureau policy team is going to stay on top of uh, looking at that and making sure that um, that doesn't negatively impact our farmers and ranchers and property owners that, that are our members. Um, there's, there's lots of different ways it could affect us and we just want to make sure that um, it doesn't uh, impact us in a negative way. Um, as you know, uh, farmers and ranchers are, are asset rich and uh, when it comes to large property sales, large asset sales, uh, that capital gains tax is one that, that affects us um, in a negative way. Last week was a deadline week, um, so we saw several bills die. What are we still working on? Yeah, so uh, with the deadline week last week, several bills died. Um, I think we were down to like 800 or 1,000 bills, um, so a lot less than what was introduced. Um, one particular that died that I think our members uh, should be interested in is a, a bill that would require trailers to be tagged. Um, that bill did die, and so uh, hopefully we can continue the conversation um, and let legislators know that that's, that's something that our members aren't interested in is, is the mandatory tagging of trailers. Um, there's lots of different things that we're working on, from drones to property rights issues um, to all kinds of different things. Um, one, one bill in particular is Senate Bill 912. I think we're looking to work with uh, some other ag groups um, in the Department of Ag and maybe looking at uh, some ways to update the laws on uh, CDL requirements and uh, to kind of match that with the federal law. Our, our laws in Oklahoma are a little bit over restrict or over strict on that. Um, and I think we need, uh, we need to look at um, fixing that. All right. Thanks, Bray. And thanks for joining us for another episode of Lincoln to Local.